Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Davy J Today. I'm your host, Davy J, and today we're going to be discussing an older vintage video format. That's right. You're not going to really find these in your living rooms in 2022, but you're going to find them in some collector's living rooms, maybe in, I don't know, some movie obsessed maniacs junk pile. Not working, but it just so happens that I collect something called. VHD, which is also known as video high density. Now, what this is is a format that originated in Japan and was only really rolled out in Japan. So we're gonna fill you in on what exactly VHD is, how it works, and we're even gonna do a little demo for you to, so you understand even better. I'm a very visual person, so it helps me to see it in action. So we're gonna demonstrate it on video. Lastly, we're gonna fill you in on what it is and what it does because VHD is just such a cool video format. But first, let's take a look at what VHD really is. There was a revolution in home media happening in the late 1970s. Before people were able to bring movies to their homes, they would need to wait and see where their local cinemas or drive through movie theaters would be airing their favorite Hollywood movies. It may sound a little hard to believe in our modern day on-demand 2022, but this was the norm as the 70s moved into one of the most progressive decades in technology, the 1980s. Long story short, there was a three-way race to be the best pre-recorded movies on disc. These three competing formats consisted of companies like RCA, who had the CED video disc, Philips had the Laserdisc format, and JVC, otherwise known as the Japan Victor Company, who had VHD, aka Video High Density, which is what we're going to be focusing on today. Not to spoil anything, but the truth was that not all of these video formats were successful. Laserdisc proved to be the longest lasting ceasing production worldwide by 2002. CED was a flop in North America from the very start, and VHD was only successful in Japan, and in some cases sold more copies than Laserdisc. Victor considered rolling out the VHD in North America, but after seeing the major failure RCA had with CED, they decided to back off prior to launching in the States. These were all analog disc formats, but CED and VHD were very similar in that they were both movies produced on vinyl discs. Very similar to records, these formats required a stylus in order to play. 60 minutes on each side, then eject and flip to the other side. Once a vinyl disc is scratched, it's done, and it can get only so many plays before getting completely worn out. Another awesome part was that VHD players were much cheaper than Laserdisc players, making VHD the second most popular video format in Japan in the 80s. Another cool trick feature was that like DVDs and Laserdiscs, VHDs had chapter stops. The movies were incredibly cheap to produce, but because the discs were so fragile, it made damage and scratches very common. This is why you see the protective caddies that protect the disc. Anyways. That's pretty much video high density in a nutshell. Now and we're gonna go ahead and unbox some extremely rare factory sealed VHDs. Yeah, that's right. I have a bunch of these videos right here and we're gonna unbox them as you can see. We'll start with Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, look at how cool the covers are for these. Again, just like laser discs, really cool big cover art and we're gonna unbox these. They're all factory sealed, brand new, and haven't seen the light of day ever. And they were meant to be open in the mid 80s. So let's go ahead right now and unbox a few of these new old stock VHD video disc movies. The first one is called Nightmare on Elm Street. And look, it's just so different. You got the Japanese way of releasing videos and you got the North American way of releasing videos. I feel like they take a big chance in some of the alternate artwork for these posters and these movies. And just such a cool shot of Freddy's makeup from the first movie. How cool is that? Here's the back in case you were wondering. And a bunch of Japanese that I do not know.
Mmm. <sighs> yep. It smells good. That 1980s air. Specifically that 1984 air. Because that's when Nightmare on Elm Street came out. On home video. There it is. Fresh and out of the package. Oh. Look at this. This is what's called an insert. All of these had inserts inside of them. And I believe it just tells the different chapter skips. Yep. Okay, so this side is blank, but look. More cool artwork. Some information here. Probably about the chapters. Again, this is one of the first formats to have chapter stops on their movies. There's the famous bathtub scene. And if you're curious, this is what a video disc looks like. See, it comes out of there. And if you've ever seen a CED, this is very similar to a CED. Yes, it's video on vinyl. And by the way, we're not going to open these all and look at the front covers. It'll just take too long because I think I have four more movies to unbox. For comparison, here is the CED compared to what a VHD disc looks like. And I'll check it out. This is what it looks like on top of each other. See? Significantly bigger if you have a CD here. Pretty interesting stuff. Anyways, that's Nightmare on Elm Street. This is Night of the Living Dead, George A. Romero's famous Night of the Living Dead. And this movie really needs no introduction. George A. Romero invented the zombie. He is the zombie CEO. This is what the back looks like. Again, if you've seen a VHS cover for this or even the original Laserdisc cover, this is such a cool cover. I love this cover for Night of the Living Dead. Check it out. Sweet! Look at that! Oh, that is so cool! Look at this. I'm not going to take it out all the way, but look. Check it out with this cool insert. Look at that. How cool is this insert? And then boom. They have King of Horror written on all these. I have Dawn of the Dead, and all the Romero zombie movies say King of Horror. King of Horror, which is a really cool tribute that they have over in Japan. They don't do it over here, at least not on the actual physical releases. King of Horror, right there. And he really is. Rest in peace to George Romero. Pink Floyd, The Wall. How cool is that? MGM, yep. Sweet. It's just so awesome. Yeah. I just love the artwork, and I don't know if you've ever seen this movie. It freaks me out. Let's just say, if you are under the influence of certain vegetables, <laughs> this movie can be quite, I guess trippy is what it is. So, very trippy film, great music, of course. Pink Floyd, legendary musicians. The Wall was also a great music album. It's just so cool that they had the companion film to go along with it. Here's the background. I'm gonna swallow that flower. I don't know. I think this is like a metaphor for something, but I could be wrong. Roger Waters, of course. Yep. Pretty cool. A bunch of, once again, a bunch of Japanese gibberish. I have no clue. Ooh, yes, that 1980s factory sealed scent. So that's what the 80s smelled like. <laughs> There we go, now it's officially opened, right on camera. Sorry about the glare, people. Is that good? Good. Even this has an insert, check it out. Pretty sweet. Whoa, it's like more of a face. What? It's just some dude being like, ah! Oh, is this guy in the movie? Oh, yeah. so, oh just MGM, kind of boring. Let's see. Pink Floyd, the wall in Japanese, yeah, okay. Saving the best for last. Everybody knows this movie, and this, comes in two discs so yes disc one and disc two because it's too big to fit on one and if you know about the original ced and the original laser disc it was actually shortened so it could fit on one disc so if you have the original ced and the original release of star wars on Laserdisc, those are sped up for time, which means it's a little bit fast, not so much that you can notice really, but it's sped up so much so that it's just an inferior copy. I'm glad they didn't do that with the first release of Star Wars in Japan on VHD. You won't get that here. So they put it on two, as you can see it, count it, two different discs. So let's open this. This is saving the best for last. Disc one and disc two of George Lucas's Star Wars. 
Um, let's see here. Boom, there you go, yay, woo! Pretty much exactly the same, yep, exactly the same, except for the one and the two. Right, let's see here, let's see what it looks like. What? No insert? Oh, this is disc two, there's probably an insert in the other one, yep. yep. And there you go. Another fun fact is VHD is created by Victor, which Victor is what it's called in Japan, and worldwide, everybody knows the Victor company as JVC. And JVC stands for Japan Victor Company. JVC, there's Victor, JVC. So Victor equals JVC. A little known fact. Well, there you have it. Disc 1 and Disc 2, VHD, Star Wars, 1977. Well, thanks again for watching. Again, I can't thank you enough for subscribing and watching my videos. I am so grateful for that. So thanks again for watching from the bottom of my heart. I've said my piece. Now it's time to hear yours.